What's going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. I'm just opening Minecraft here and don't mind it. It's just gonna open, you know. <coughs> so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can get plugins with Spitchit for your Minecraft server. Okay, the first, if you don't want it to be a spidget server you can just do it without just look at my last video okay so first you wanna right click on an empty space on your desktop you wanna press new folder call that folder anything else. you can call it uh, I don't even know you know you can can, can can you minimize Minecraft? My Minecraft <laughs> Minecraft wasn't doesn't want to minimize. Anyways, like I was saying, <coughs> you can just right click on the folder, rename it to tutorial. Doesn't have to be tutorial. Uh oh shit! I already have <laughs> tutorial. Sp spit Spidget, how about that? Tutorial Spidget. Move. Move. What? Okay, well, it's just gonna stay here. So, what you wanna do is you wanna click the first link in the description, which is gonna be this Spidget right here. This is for 1.16.5. You can go down, scroll down and choose your version, it could be 1.8, I don't, doesn't matter, I think, I don't know if it's the same, but we're gonna download 1.16.5, okay? 1.16.5. Um, it's gonna say this, you're about to, it's gonna say this, you should scroll down, click on this, you're about to download Spidget 1.16.5 jar. So what you want to do, you want to download it, just call it um, server.jar again. Because we love servers, that's what we're going to do. You want to open where you downloaded it. Open wherever you downloaded it. I don't know where you downloaded it. It's downloading on my screen. Um, Right here, 9 seconds left, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god gold and it is finished downloading if it says keep or delete you you should keep it because it's safe okay there it is okay so you wanna take it click it you want to drag it into the folder you just created. Want to open the folder, new text document. Okay, so you want to call it run. Just run. Okay. Um, you want to <coughs> go to the second link in the description, which is going to be this right here. You want to copy this, copy that, just paste it in here, make a new line and type pause, okay? So in this, we're going to do a, help out a, let's do three gigabyte RAM server, how about that? Maybe two gig, yeah, let's do two gigabyte and you can see how to allocate more RAM. In the third link in the description, my Twitch is going to be the fourth, but doesn't matter. So you want to copy this, not equals, just copy from this minus to this M. Just copy. And you want to do the same from this minus to this M. Paste. You want to be sure it says Java. If not, you have done something wrong. I don't know. Um, you still want the jar, and you want it to be called 
exactly the same as this. It doesn't matter what it's called. You just want this to be named the same as this, okay? So once you've done that, file, save as. File, save as, run all files, dot bat, dot bat, dot bat. That's how you're gonna run the server with a bat file, batch file. You see, Windows batch file. So you can just delete this now. If you ever wanna, you know, edit it, you can just go over here, press edit. Okay? So you wanna run this is this can take some time see server will start in 20 seconds this can take some time so i'll be right back with you guys alrighty guys it's f if you have this fail to load properties file server.properties fail to load eula you need to agree to the eula so you just want to press any key, just G, I don't care, spacebar, it doesn't matter. You want to double click this, you want to type true, if I could spell, true. You want to hit control, C, T, R, L, and then S at the same time, so it quick saves. And then you want to, you want to do... You want to run it again. But first, we need to go over this properties file. Server.properties. The best thing is to open it with notepad. But Okay. So, this is a list over what you can do. Raid limit, enable archon. This is your MOTD. It's the thing you have under the name. You type the name. Something says under it. So... Let's just do this. Um, tutorial spidget server. How about that? And we want to do... How many players do we want? You know what? Let's do 69. Because why not? Am I right? So you want to hit control S again. want to close that. You want to... Double click run and you just want to start it. If you get any errors, you might want to try again. Or type it in the comment what the error is if you get any error. Okay? So I'm going to be right back with you guys when it's loaded. So I am back. It can take a long time when you first launch the server. Like you see here, 107 seconds. So you want to open your Minecraft to start to join your server on your internet you see when you scroll down to the bottom it says scanning for games on your local network you just want to ignore that shit um that fuck okay that that wasn't a good server um it was a server i played it wasn't good okay so anyways you want to type zero and you want to hit join server See, loading terrain. Now let's make it a little bit bigger. Um, while it is loading, I am going to tell you guys about um nothing because it is loaded. Might take some time. Might be really lucky on video. I'm not lacking at all. It's just my recordings were making it look like it lag. Just, yeah, I disconnected there. Doesn't matter. Anyways, to close your server, let's go over that real quick. Because a lot of dumb... No, I'm not like, saying that. Because a lot of dumb people just think, Oh, I want to stop the server. Hit the X. No. Never. No. Stop. No. No. Never. You want to type S-T-O-P. Because if you hit the X, it can corrupt the server. And as you see here, 
in our folder here, tutorial spidget, tutorial spidget, you see there is spidget, user cache, um, run, server, server, permissions, ops, help, eula, commands, bucket, band, I band IPs, world, 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 plugins. Here you can put in, insert any plugins you want. For example, let's do some plugin I have on my PC. I don't know. Let's do. Hold on, let me just find one. Okay. Uh, downloads. Let me just find a plugin real quick for y'all. Um, how about this? This right here, protocol lib. Let's take this, move to plugins, and this is now registering next time we run the server so we want to run the server again and it is going to register a new plugin let's just quickly run the server and test it out see server will start in 20 seconds okay so i'm gonna be right back with you guys when it's done it is done look 45 seconds so much less you want to join the server again. I'm not going to move it around because it's going to be painful to watch me lag. So, let's just quickly put this over here. See, most people are good with 4 gigabytes for their server. So, maybe you will. Maybe 5 gigabytes. Your choice, not mine. You decide. But there is um there is an amount of RAM that you can allocate to one program at a time. I'm just gonna mine this tree real quick. Okay. So you might be what the fuck? Okay. Well you might be one you might be like, oh no, why can I not do um slash mode creative? Oh no, I wanna be the best. I wanna fucking. I wanna fly around, burn villages. I don't know. You don't. You just wanna type up your username. See, and it's gonna lock right here. Made me a server operator. Let's type in that command again, and we can just break stuff. It's that simple to make yourself op. And let's do slash protocol. See, protocol. That's protocol lib. And it has registered. And that, I think, is it. You're done making your plugin server, spidget server. Your spidget plugin server. You're done, basically. If there's any questions, leave them down in the description for me to know. So I can help you out. If there's any problems, if you just have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If there's, um, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please leave a like, subscribe to me, and have a great one. Bye bye guys.